the findings were, um, as we hypothesised, that there was um, some superior outcomes for children who received decycloserin. So um, children who received DCS relative to the placebo had a greater overall reduction in severity following the treatment out to one month follow-up. And this was across a number of different indicators of OCD severity. Um, by the longer term follow-up, at six months follow-up, there was no difference between the groups, however. So what the findings illustrated to us and similar findings with um, adult patients in different types of studies is that decycloserin appeared to accelerate gains rather than lead to a greater um, amplitude or a greater magnitude of, of reduction, which is really important in terms of a condition like OCD that is causing so much impairment on a child and family's life. If we can find ways that we can take our treatments and make them more efficient or help children to achieve gains much more quickly, then often we are preventing that you know, enormous impact that occurs longer term. So the findings were promising. It was a small pilot study of 17 children who were randomised to those two conditions. We were assessing for safety and tolerability of decycloserin, which um, was supported. And I guess that was the, the really, I guess, exciting thing about this novel approach to pharmacological augmentation, where we're using a, a drug that was previously used to treat tuberculosis. So it's an antibiotic medication with a very good safety profile. So it's tolerable to children. Um, there's not um, a, a lot of side effects that are reported in the literature. Indeed, there are no um, adverse effects reported in the literature when used in this way. And it's used um, acutely. So as I mentioned, there's only five doses of the medication that are used um, in addition to the exposure therapy. So this, the study was important in providing support that decycloserin did appear to accelerate outcomes for children who um, received the DCS relative to placebo. And it also supported that the approach was safe for children, that there weren't adverse outcomes um, and you know, the, the study was overall assessed as being feasible.